and just got some donated baby red foots and this really really cool little planter box it's a little tortoise planter box thingy so, so i've been waiting for this day for a long time for a long time that's our first plant in place right there here you go guys here's your new dream mansion home what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys i hope all of you guys are having an awesome thursday my Thursday was going good, but it's going even better now that I just got a phone call and just got some donated baby redfoots and this really, really cool little planter box for the tortoises. So we're going to be renovating that today. Let me show you it right here. This is it right here. Wow. This thing is pretty cool. So it's a little tortoise planter box thingy. So on either side, they have this little area right here where you can put plants in there. And this main area is for the baby tortoises. So if you look, there's screen on the bottom, which is going to allow for drainage. And the reason why this sack is there is so you can put mulch and keep the substrate on top. And then this right here is like a little mini shaded little house that was built for them. So it's really cool. You can keep that right there in the corner. When it's too hot out, when they want to cool off, they can make their way inside of there. So what are we going to be doing with this today? We're actually going to be going to Home Depot getting some mulch. I've already got dirt for that and we're going to be getting some plants because we need some plants for this. The baby tortoises are in the house so I'm going to go show you them right now. And there they are. Those are the three tiny baby red-footed tortoises. I mean they were just chowing down on some Missouri. I mean these guys, I mean look how cute they are. They're so cute. They're so small. I mean, guys, there's just something about baby tortoises that I absolutely love. But anyways, I'm going to go head over to Home Depot right now where I'm going to meet my buddy Walker. And we're going to get all of our supplies for this build. Guys, we're here in Home Depot. Walker, you got your stuff for your tank. Yeah. Looking good. And we got to get some mulch for this tortoise box. So I'm going to get a couple bags just because I need some mulch for the little tortoise planter box thingy, Majigger. And I need some as well for my animals. Walker, let's see. Let's see if I can one-hand it. That was a fail. Big time fail. Walker, what does it feel like to start in one of my YouTube videos? Oh, it feels, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. For a long time, Walker's been waiting for this day. What's up, man? Yo, man, yo, man. Yo, man, what's up, everybody? Yo, man, bless up, bless up. You're on the vlog. Yo, man, yo, man, yo, man. We sell lunch and a Christmas now. We have Christmas tree over there. Bless up. Yeah, man, bless up. Guys, that's the first time I've actually had a Home Depot employee come up to me and be happy that I'm recording and want to be in the vlog. Normally, they tell me to shut my camera off here because they don't want me filming here. Are you not allowed to film here? I don't, well, sometimes they tell me not to, but I... So we've got our mulch now. Now we're heading over to the plant section. We're going to be getting some of our cactus plants and little cool-looking plants. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Why don't you throw this in there? What? Nah. All right, Walker wants to throw some hibiscus in there, but... On the side, you can plant it in there. We'll just jam it it's in. Too, it's too... what? Not wide enough. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man. You know, Christmas now, man. I read do some Christmas shopping and the Christmas shop. Yeah, what's, 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 what's your name, bro? Hi, my name is Craig. You know, Craig. 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 I work in the outside garden. I work with the plants and so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, and you know, so we have, we have to show the world, you know, how beautiful the plants is. Beautiful. And, the plants uh, are and magnificent. And everybody, if we put them on the ground and plant something. Yeah, uh, exactly. Eat what we grow and, and grow what we eat. You know, so yeah, you know, man. so we live longer and keep better health. Yeah, man, so I wish everybody in the world around us adapt and plant something for the day and make exactly. something grow. Amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. Bless up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. yeah man. Put it up, you know. Put it up, you know. Going on YouTube. Yes, man. Yeah, man. So right here, I found the plants that I want to get. What are these even called? These are going to go on the sides of that little tortoise box like you guys saw. We're going to put six. So we're going to put three on one side and then three on the other side. These are annual plants, which means that they only really bloom, you know, once a year. These are... Angelonia stuff. They need full sunlight, which is going to be perfect because literally the tortoise box is going to be in the sun. So we're going to get six beautiful little Angelini thingy majeer bobbers, whatever they're called. How many more do we need, Walk? Two. Two more. So let's see. Which one do I want to get? I want to go with this one right here. This is a nice looking one. Looking good. Looks nice. There we go. And guys, if you want to do this at your house, look at this. $2.48 each. Wait, wait. $2.48 each. Great buy. They're going to look great. We got six? We got six. Sweet. It's my dog, Craig. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, man. Oh, Monster Mike. Yes, yes, yes. I tell you. Yeah. But there's a man living here, man. A lot of good work, yeah, do, you know. So I hope a lot of people can follow a strip drive to channel at the best channel. Thank in you, the world. 
Entire world. world, yeah man. Yeah, man. Sound follow man describe. Yeah. yeah man, yeah man. Nice. Yeah man, yeah man. All right, you guys, we are back from Home Depot. We have our little tortoise box planter thingy majigger in place. What we have to do now is we have to add these bricks to all four corners. Now, I was explaining earlier the reason why we had to do so is because of this wet ground. This is not pressure treated wood. So if I leave this wood sitting on the ground, it's just gonna rot away over time and I do not want that to happen. I want this beautiful planter box to last as long as possible. So I got four bricks, one for either side, all sides, and we're gonna put them in right now. So the first one's going to go right here. Just gonna lift it up right there, slide it in, get it centered, bam. So if you look now, there's a nice gap right here so the wood is no longer going to be sitting on the wet ground. Now for the next step, the next step, Cliff's actually right there with it. Right there, it's our hose. We gotta actually rinse the box out because it's kinda dirty in here. So we're gonna move the burlap sack from right in here. We got our cool little tortoise hut thing. But if you look right in here, you can see how it's all dirty. I wanna clean this out as much as possible. We're gonna get all that old dirt out. And we are done now rinsing this off. Now what we have to do next is we have to get this burlap sack that's still pretty Pretty dirty, so we're gonna have to rinse that off too. Actually, no, it's fine. The tortoises are fine, they like that dirty stuff. We've got the burlap sack in there. It lays pretty much across the entire thing. And what I wanna do now is position where I want these flowers to go. Now I have a bag of topsoil right over there that I already have, we didn't need to buy that. But basically I'm gonna position these flowers, one there, I've got one there, and one there. Now these are annual, so it should say it on there. Yeah. So if you see that, that says an annual. So these flowers are only blooming for about once a year and then they die off. So about once a year, even in six months, I'll probably have to replace them. Let's go get our topsoil. We got our soil here. Now we gotta put the soil in. So we're gonna start with this side right here. We're gonna move these plants away. Open our bag of topsoil. Now guys, if you wanna do this, Make sure you get topsoil that doesn't have additives. A lot of topsoil is gonna have fertilizers. It's gonna have all kinds of stuff that is not safe for your animals. Have you ever seen those little green fertilizer balls, little white balls in there? You can actually see it right here. If you see any of these little white balls, green balls ever in your topsoil, it is not safe to be in direct contact with your animals because if your animal eats that, that's full of chemicals that could very much so kill and harm your animal. So. You don't want that near your animal. This topsoil, thankfully, is 100% organic. Open up, take a look. You don't see any fertilizer balls, nothing in there. Look at that. Some high quality stuff right there. So you're gonna take it by hand and fill it in right here. And we're done. We have our topsoil in place. Now it is time to put our first plants in. So I'm gonna start here with this one right here. We're gonna put this one right there. So I'm gonna keep all the fertilizer balls in this place. Now before you take your plant out, you'll wanna crush the pot like this. This is gonna get all the soil nice and loose so then it just slips out just like this. Look at that right there. And then we're going to just inside the little planter area, break up the roots just a little bit, just like that. And then we're just gonna slide it in. That's our first plant in place right there. We gotta get our second one going right now. Again, crush, crush. All right, guys, we got it entirely in place. I was just checking to make sure all of my plants are even. You know, I want everything to be symmetrical, look even. So this one is in line with this one. This one is in line with that one, and this one is in line there. So we are set there. Now what we have to do is we have to add our mulch. Now, I love to use the no-float cypress. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know we use this in pretty much every single video when we're building something here. It's the best mulch here. We have our burlap sack laid in there. Now we just gotta put our mulch in there. Just wanna shake it out. Wait, let's open this better. Rip that open, oh yeah. Get a nice layer of mulch. Spread it across here. I think that's as much mulch as we're gonna need in here. At the angle that the sun is hitting right now, I think for pretty much the entire day that this part is going to be shaded. The sun is going to rise in the east and it's gonna set in the west. That's the west there, the east is there. So when the sun rises, during the day it comes doo -doo 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 -doo, but it never is directly overhead which means the sun is going to hit this and always leave this part shaded which means this is where I'm going to be putting their little mini house I mean this thing's pretty cool we're going to put that right here in this corner 
I'm thinking this corner right here is where that little hide thingy majigger is going to lay. I just decided something that's going to be pretty cool. What's that? I think we should put some mulch inside the planter right here to get rid of that oh, dirt look. Oh, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, yes. Uniformity. Uniformity. I make like everything it. look nice. I mean, okay. this adds just an even nicer dimension to this. Just this one little thing makes it look just that much better, especially in person, Cliff. It really does. It really does. It just makes it look way better. All right, guys, we are done with this. The build is complete. The only thing that we're missing now is our tortoises in a water dish for these little guys. So we're gonna go ahead in the garage and get that right now. We've got our tortoises, we've got our water dish. Let's go put them in their new home. So we've got our three red foot tortoises here. I mean, these guys are just absolutely adorable. Now it's the winter time here in South Florida. So they're only going to be out here during the day. Whenever the temperature is going to get below 75 degrees, they're gonna come inside for the nighttime, which is pretty much gonna be every night from here on out. But during the day, they're gonna be out here getting that awesome sunlight which they need to grow up to be happy and healthy tortoises but one thing I need all of you guys to do right now is I need all of you guys to go and comment down below a name for them comment down below a squad name or an individual name for each of them I don't know what I'm gonna name them I may name them individually or I may give them a squad name because we got a lot of animals in here it's hard to remember everyone's individual name here you go guys here's your new dream mansion home got our water dish right here now I am going to set this water dish over here in the corner in the shade because if it's directly in the sun then it's just gonna get evaporated very quickly and we don't want that to happen but look at these guys they're just exploring having fun look at them oh wow they're like wow this is a nice new enclosure so i just want to grab some food for the little baby tortoises right now get a couple hibiscus leaves do you want one sir here you want a flower you want that oh yeah he's like yeah 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 i'll take that here buddy you want this you want this leaf there you go. No? Okay. I just want to see if these guys are hungry now. Let's put a couple leaves in there. Put them by the leaves. Here you go. And here you go. We also got to give them some water. We got to fill it up. Haven't done that yet. Look at them. They immediately are going to chow down. Let's mist them down too. Give them that good humidity that they like. You can see when you mist their shells down that they actually look a lot prettier. And if you look at them, that guy has darker feet and this one has more orange feet. All of them vary, so some of them will have more yellow feet. So this guy's got, you can see he's got a little yellow foot scoot right there. He's got some orange ones, but then this one has ones that are even more orange. Sorry that I'm interrupting your food, but look at the difference in their feet. You can see that this guy is just way more orange in his feet than this one, but they're still beautiful little tortoises nonetheless. And that, my friends, is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching. If you guys have not already, and it's your first time on the channel, please go subscribe. It is the first link down below. Guys, comment down below a squad name, individual names, whatever you want these tortoises to be named. I will be picking a winner in the next video. And if you guys have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up. And I will catch all of you guys in the next episode.